hello guys welcome to my channel please before we start make sure you subscribe like share and comment this won't be a very long video and it can be useful for you especially for your health when using the computer one of the main things that you need to consider is enabling the night light which prevents the screen from emitting or from showing the blue light or reducing it it, it helps you reduce that light and therefore allowing you to sleep better or even sleep sometimes some people may not uh, be able to sleep because of that blue light I'm not gonna show you how to do that on every desktop environment available on Gentoo I myself sometimes cannot find how to enable such light on the desktop environment it's itself and may need some extra tools or applications to install to be able to enable the night light so the desktop environments that I'm gonna show you how to enable the night light on them are KDE and GNOME here I have GNOME I know that GNOME is hated in general by the Linux community it's not my favorite desktop environment However, I'm using it just for the night light. I prefer to be able to sleep whenever I want. And I found a difference between using the computer with the night light enabled and disabled. And I found that it's better to be disabled. So to uh, disable the night light on the GNOME, you click on this uh, upper right uh, symbol or icon it's having multiple notification stuff here icons and you click on this icon which is for the settings the next thing you do is you uh, scroll down on this uh, right or left left panel screen the, it's the right of the screen and the left of us and you go to this place you go to the night light and then you click here to disable and like this to enable and then you can choose whether it's from sunset to sunrise or manual schedule and you can change the temperature the color temperature which means increasing the uh, or increasing the blue light or decreasing it like this you increase and like this you decrease okay this was for GNOME desktop environment for KDE I'm gonna use the virtual machine on my VNC server it's here this is KDE desktop environment for GNOME there is another way there is another way to disable I mean to go to the settings and there might be a, a CLI way but I just showed you the GUI way for KDE it's the same there is more than a way to disable or to enable the night light and disable the blue light to help yourself have a better health by sleeping correctly so you go here to the system settings whether by clicking this icon or going to the application launcher and then settings and then system settings or by coming simply to configure display settings it's in the display settings you come here and then you look for display and monitor and then you come here to select night color it's gonna be the same when you go directly here to configure display uh, to configure display settings, and then you come here night color, and then you choose sunset uh, whether it's always off, which I don't recommend you to do. One of the main things that I always do when using any device, you you, you can notice it in my videos, is making sure that the night light is on. So you go to you you are here and you choose when is uh, or what is the configuration for your night light for your health whether it's sunset to sunrise 
for the current location or sunset and rise at manual location that you choose, custom times or always on. I always prefer it to be always on to be honest. If you focus it well on the configuration I have done on my GNOME desk desktop environment on this computer that I'm using to record, it is set to be almost 24 hours. But I guess KDE is better when it comes to such option because it has always on night color. So let's select this option. And you can uh, decide like this might be, these are more like configurations, you have an extra one. So the color temperature, and you have night color temperature, and then you click op apply. You can try them. Okay, so that was how you can set up your computer to enable night light to reduce the blue light that's coming from your screen, therefore sleeping better, and not having any problems with sleeping due to the uh, blue light that you get from your screen. You may need to consider that very well. I hope it's clear, make sure you subscribe, like, share and comment, thank you for watching, peace.